What if I told you for the low, low price of just $7, you could get scammed on Wish.com just like me. Welcome back to Craft Computing, all 10,000 of you. As always, I'm Jeff. So last month I did a review of the GTX 960 knockoff that I bought from Wish.com for just $43. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click right up there. Shortly after that video posted, I figured Wish could be a good source for other content for the channel. So I jumped on there and what I found was shortly after I posted that video, people were starting to sell Pascal series graphics cards for just $1. Now I'm no sucker. Wait, I actually bought these. I'm no sucker, but I know it's too good to be true to get a Pascal series graphics card for just $1. So I went ahead and bought them anyway, so you don't have to. Now the purpose of this order was twofold. Number one, I was curious to find out what in the world I was actually gonna get, which at this point, your guess is as good as mine. I haven't opened these yet. Uh, number two, I wanted to find out what this scheme actually was. Uh, they're selling me something for a dollar. I got shipping notices. Uh, I'm actually receiving a product, but what are they selling me? Is this all some kind of coordinated scheme amongst the sellers? Is it one seller doing everything? So I actually bought from four different sellers on Wish. Now the sellers are doing something just a little bit tricky with this. Uh, some of them are posting on there that, uh, hey, you can get a GTX 1050 Ti for a dollar. Uh, what that actually is is a contest to say, hey, give us a dollar, we'll drop your name in a hat and we'll draw one out and then we'll ship out a 1050 Ti to whoever gets this. Uh, the sellers that I went with were actually not doing that. They actually said, you will get a 1050 Ti or a 1060 or a 1070 Ti or a 1080 Ti which are the four graphics cards that I ordered from four different sellers. And I will say at least two of those sellers changed my item description before the item actually even shipped out to say that it was a contest. So it was a little bit of a bait and switch, bait and switch, I paid a dollar. Uh, <laughs> now note at the time of filming this, I've only received items from three. So I don't know where the last one's at, but as I am a hardware review site, what do you say we open these things up and uh, review them? All right, first up, this is the first package I received, and I know that because what's inside is a little bit different from the other two. Um, again, no idea, so here goes. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay then. Oh yeah, this was worth a dollar. It's a pen, literally just a pen with a uh, little ghost on top or a little demon jack-o'-lantern looking thing. That was worth a dollar. Let's see how it writes. So let's review this pen. It's a pen, uh, cheap plastic body. It's got uh, a little dude at the top of it. Um, eh, decently fine point, doesn't look like a ball point. I'm actually not sure what that is. Uh, let's write with it. Of course I can't write because I'm staring at the camera and not at the paper. Not bad. All right, package number two. <laughs> oh man. I got a I got an ice cream cone. It's kind of a high density foam. It's got a keychain hook on it for some reason. I don't know why you would ever put that on a key ring, but Seems to want to tear almost immediately, so pretty junk quality. It looks like it's just been painted on for the chocolate, or at least I hope that's chocolate. So item number two, ice cream cone keychain. I don't think we need to review that one any further. All right, package number three. <laughs> Same exact thing. I got another uh, ice cream cone over here. This one's blue. All right, I have a matching set. There we go. And of course I shot this whole video, got it all edited, 
even uploaded it to YouTube for my Patreon backers. And package four arrives. Let's open this one up. <laughs> All right, if you have any guesses, make them now. And the big reveal, drum roll please. It's a kitchen sink sprayer. It's a spigot for a kitchen sink. Um, yeah, it's uh, really cheap plastic. It's like probably injection molded. Now it's got two settings. Nice. Um, yeah, I could probably pick this up at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, this is certainly not a 1050 Ti or a 1060 or a 1070 Ti or a 1080 Ti. It's not powered by Pascal. It's not even Kepler. Um, it's powered by water. There you go. There's no such thing as a $1 graphics card. I didn't think there was a chance for me to possibly be underwhelmed by this, but uh, there's my haul. So you can tell I expected this to be a little bit longer video. I still have a lot of beer left in my glass. Let me know down in the comments, what's the worst purchase you've ever made when it actually arrived? Uh, whether it was a scam or whether it was a bait and switch or whether it was something you didn't read the description on and you know, you bought a couch and you ended up receiving like a dollhouse furniture couch or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm curious to see what uh, other people's buying experiences are, either off Wish or any other site. Make sure to check out the video description where you'll find my Amazon affiliate link where you can actually make legitimate purchases on items. And uh, every dollar you spend there really does help out this channel. Uh, literally anything you buy, I can make a commission on. So it really does help me out and it's a way that doesn't cost you anything to keep my lights on here. Also, if you wanna directly support this channel, check me out on Patreon. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this morning I crossed 10,000 subscribers. Now I'm recording this on April 1st, but no, seriously, it's there. I had to check a couple of times. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for sticking around, for liking my content, for interacting with me in the comments, for supporting this channel in every way that you do. I deeply appreciate it. Don't forget to like this one and subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. I, my glasses, there they are. wonder I can't see a damn thing. Ah, that's better. Hey, look, the camera's in focus.